If I can do it, you can do it. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to Thesis Tips and Tricks with me, Julia, who is now almost finished her lit review. Ah! Yes, it has been a really productive few weeks and the initial start to my lit review was not productive at all and I made a few changes to my daily routine that really, really helped speed things along. So that's what I thought I'd share with you today, the five changes to my daily routine that helped me write a lot of words. So with my lit review, I was fortunate enough to have already written some back in September last year. Now fast forward to May this year, I and I opened up my lit review and had completely forgotten that I'd already done 4,000 words. And I thought, well, this is gonna be a breeze. This is gonna be an absolute breeze because I've already done 4,000 words and I'll be done with this in about a month's time. Done. First two weeks of writing, I moved from 4,000 words to 6,000 words. So 1,000 words per week. I mean, that's not bad because obviously with a lit review, you are reading a lot of material as well. But at 1,000 words per week and my lit review probably gonna hit about 15,000 words yeah that was gonna take me 11 weeks and I just was like I do not have 11 weeks to spend writing this review so I decided to change a few things up in my daily routine to become more productive and that took me from writing a thousand words per week to three thousand words per week I mean like tripling my word count per week which was exactly what I needed so I'm now sat on 12,000 words and that means that hopefully by the end of next week all of my words should be done so how did I take myself from writing a thousand words per week to three thousand words per week well this is how the first thing I made sure I was doing every day of those productive weeks was getting up early my brain works best in the morning so if I am sleeping in till nine o'clock or later I'm missing hours where I could be actively working and that's just the way that my brain is if I get up at six in the morning and then get to my desk for seven those few hours will be so so productive compared to doing 1 p.m till 3 p.m in the afternoon where I literally can't do anything at all so for me starting my day early was key to getting those words down now for you you might not be a morning brain person you might be a night owl and prefer to get things done later on in the evening I'm pathetic I fall asleep by like 10 o'clock at night I can literally like feel my body going so if you are a night owl then you should definitely adapt your schedule to make sure you're getting your work done in those later hours and getting your sleep in in the morning but if you like me are a morning person but you like to sleep in and the lack of schedule at the minute means you are sleeping later than you usually would and you know you can work in those hours set an alarm and get up early trust me what is key here to getting those words done is establishing a routine so you know when your brain works best that is when you should be scheduling to do your writing that should be consistent consistent every single day Monday to Friday and so I think really getting a routine down and the consistency in there is vital in upping your word count. The second thing that I made sure I was doing every day was focusing on a single section of my lit review. Now you might be thinking oh I've only got a few sections to write and these sections are really big and it'll take me more than a day to write a section. Break it down to a really really condensed part of your work and let that be your focus for the day. I worked out that I had I think 14 different sections for my thesis and so then I gave each day from Monday to Friday a different section to work on. Now on some days these sections were pretty chunky and pretty hefty and it meant that I did have to carry them over to the next day in the morning but there were other sections that because I was getting up early and using my brain's best hours I was getting through them really quickly and then actually being able to jump ahead to start my reading for the next day. So I think it's really good to have like a rough schedule of doing a section per day for your lit review or your dissertation or your essay whatever you're writing and because I'm just working on a single section per day in my calendar I would just be blocking out times throughout the day to focus on this work so I do say from 7am to half nine I would say I'm going to read about how strains this morning and then from 10 till 12, I'm then gonna start writing the paragraph for Tao Strains. Then in the afternoon, my brain's just rubbish in the afternoon, I block maybe an hour to do some more reading. And then for a couple of hours in the evening, when I'm a bit more alert, I would then go back to writing. But blocking out designated hours throughout the day really helps keep you on track. 
So yes, write a section of your work each day using time blocking. The third thing that I've been doing is something I only came across about a year or so ago, which is using a Pomodoro timer when I'm trying to write. I don't know about you, but when I'm writing a really intense piece of work, I can find that my brain is a bit resistant to actually getting those words on a page because it requires a lot of energy. And our brains like to take that path of least resistance. And if you're trying to use a lot of energy a lot of focus a lot of concentration sometimes your brain can be like yeah no i'm not gonna do it but what a pomodoro timer does is it times you for 25 minutes and then gives you a five minute break so in those 25 minutes that is your working time and for that time you solely focus on your writing and during that 25 minutes I am constantly writing, even if it's rubbish, even if what I'm writing is, need to find reference here, keep writing. It's more like a continuous stream of writing for 25 minutes and then you have a five minute break. It really helps you to get the words down because if you just have a focused period of time, your brain can really handle, I've only got to go for this long before I can take a break. Now in that five minute break, what I tend to do is get up and have a little walk around, go and get a coffee, have a quick chat with someone. Try and not use that break to do a task which would take you longer than five minutes because the key to Pomodoro is doing a few of them back to back and you will see so much progress with your work. I just find having that finite amount of time when my brain needs to focus really helps me to actually focus and not let my mind drift off onto something else. The fourth thing that I've made sure I've done every day whilst getting all of these words done is to exercise or move. It doesn't have to be a full intense workout, but making sure that I am taking time to move my body every single day. During this period, obviously the gyms aren't open and I am normally a gym goer, but what I've been doing instead is really getting into running. So I've been going on runs every other day and honestly it is just so good for clearing your head and for stress relief and on the days where I haven't been running I've been doing you know little workouts at home and then also going for a walk and during this time what I like to do is really really treat myself and really take my mind off my work and for me the way I do that is to listen to a podcast whilst I am doing my exercise so my body is really you know focused on the exercise at hand but my mind doesn't even get a chance to wander off because it's focused and listening to something that it really enjoys. So every single day that I've managed to write a lot of words, I have been moving and exercising. So it's something that I would 100% get into your routine. Sometimes I find that my brain tries to convince me that, oh, go for exercise now, like that's just a waste of an hour where you could be working. But I found like if I didn't exercise, then that hour would just be used wasting time scrolling through my phone or doing something else, watching TV. Personally, I tend to exercise now either really early in the morning so before I start for the day or I will exercise during that lull period of the day everyone has one that dip in energy where you physically just can't get your brain to do anything that's when I will go for a run or a walk because otherwise I'll just be sat staring at my screen feeling bad about myself so may as well use it for something productive and the last change that I've made to my daily routine that has made the biggest difference and I mean the most astronomical difference different to my productivity is putting huge restrictions on the use of my mobile phone. I am addicted to my mobile phone, like I really am. And it's normally the first thing I look at in the morning when I wake up and the last thing I look at when I go to sleep at night. Now what this does, if you're using that for social media, is first thing in the morning, your brain is in a reactive state because you're looking at information and taking in other people's information before you've had a chance to even understand how you are feeling that day. So I made a really strict rule for myself that I would not go on my phone until after midday every day. I wouldn't look at my phone in the morning. I wouldn't touch social media. My phone was kept away from me all of that time. So what that allowed is for me to wake up, really judge how I was feeling that day, and then get on with my work without thinking, oh, I need to reply to that message on Instagram, or it's really important that I plan my content for this. No, 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 like leave the phone. Whenever your core best working hours are, I would say like try and not look at your phone until you reach that point. I know that's really hard for night owls, but at least give yourself like a two or three hour break of the phone before you go into your work. I've also switched off all my notifications on my 
phone. So even when I'm looking at it in the afternoon, it's not constantly going off. And I've stopped going on my phone at night as well. And instead I'm reading a book. But that has been the biggest driver in my productivity is restricting my use of my phone. If you love your phone as much as I do, if you are a social media lover like I am, I love social media, but it is a huge distraction and your brain prefers to scroll mindlessly than actually do work. So when it comes to like having to actually just get stuff done, switch off your notifications, leave your phone somewhere far away from you. Don't look at it until at least lunchtime and then just see how you get on because I guarantee you your mornings will be so much more productive if you do that. So they are my five things. Waking up early, time blocking your day, using a Pomodoro timer, exercising and restricting your mobile phone use. Those five things have helped me to go from writing a thousand words a week to 3000 words a week. And I'm probably gonna finish my lit review next week. But yeah, give all those things a go. I hope they improve your writing as well. It really is about giving your brain that productive time to solely focus on your work and looking after your mental health. As always, that's really important. So next time I speak to you about my thesis, I will have hopefully finished my lit review and I'll be moving on to my methods and putting my results section together. So I'm sure I'll be back with a video on how I'm working through those different sections of the thesis but if you have any questions at all or you want me to talk about anything on these videos then please feel free to message me on social media or comment on this video. I'm more than open to any suggestions if you need help trying to focus or concentrate when writing an essay, a dissertation or a thesis. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. You're all great and I know that you can be your most productive self by changing just a few things. If I can do it, you can do it. See you next time. Thank you.